here, man. I had a, I think, a brilliant idea. So, before I even get to the brilliant idea, let me tell you what happened. I get a phone call on January 30, uh, well, I get a call a, a few days ago uh, from Farmers Insurance. You guys know that I just had an accident in the Maxima and that whole thing is just done. That, that whole case is done. Long story short, it's done. I uh, spoke with the insurance company and uh, there's insurance on this car from Geico. And the lady who backed into me, she has Geico. So that case was, was done in like a week. You know, we had everything straight away. So I get a call maybe a week later and it's from Farmers. And, they, and they're like, yo, uh, we wanna just uh, get, get your side of what happened on, uh, you know, January 13th on the accident that you had. So I'm going along with it, but I'm thinking in my head, uh, didn't we already, uh, you know, take care of this? And plus, why is farmers involved when it's all a, a Geico, um, it's, a, it's a Geico claim. Long story short, we start the interview and she says, on your 2019 Ford F-150. So I'm like, wait a minute, that car got stolen. So we get to chopping it up and I'm, I'm gonna call that insurance agent uh, right after this, but Long story short, um, the car, the truck got into an accident in California. So I know the truck is in California, but she doesn't have any other information regarding the whereabouts of that truck. Witnesses just got the license plate number because they did a hit and run. So obviously the plate, uh, the truck is registered to me. So they're coming after me like I did it. So I explained what happened and she was like, oh, wow. So uh, I'm in the clear from that, but now I'm headed to DMV. This is where my bright idea comes. It's been about a year since I bought that truck, so I'm gonna put a, a stop on the registration. So whoever it is who has that truck doing felony hit and runs, they're not gonna be able to register that truck and they're gonna drive around in an unregistered vehicle. So it's only a matter of time before uh, someone is pulled over in that truck, that truck is towed and impounded and I will get the call again, hey, we got your truck in our impound. That's my brilliant idea. So the reason I'm doing it like this is because when I tried to report it stolen, in the state of Nevada, they will not allow you to report a vehicle stolen if you physically put the keys in someone's hands, which I did, and I'm not gonna lie on a police report uh, and, and you know make a false report. I put the keys in his hands, it then becomes civil. So now it's a civil matter and I gotta take him to court, uh, in, uh, to civil court, and I'm not about to do all that. I, I got three of my cars back, so uh, well, two and a half. <laughs> I know where the third one is. Homie is making the payments on that one, so we good with that one. But that one uh, may be coming to the channel soon. That's still up in the air, we'll see, we'll see. But um, I'm gonna tell you why we are getting a lot closer. And uh, reason being is because I'm getting calls from other people who are in the same position as me who have had their cars stolen from them uh, uh, embezzled should I use the word embezzled and I've been talking Uris. Uh yeah so I've been getting a lot of calls from people because it's, it's getting out that I got my cars back they want to know when how well what did you do whatever so a lot of people coming to me uh, long story short I just spoke to one of the other guys who got two of his cars back the same way. And uh, I can't go into details because it's still an ongoing investigation. Uh, but he got two of his cars back in Nevada. Uh, they were on a truck being shipped. 
And you know, when you gotta, uh, when the truckers gotta check into, you know, the highway check-in or whatever, uh, they were checking the cars, and two of the cars that belonged to him came up as stolen. That's how two of his cars were recovered. And uh, there's another one, I will not say the state, because the feds are involved. The feds are working with the highway patrol in that state. So, uh, you know, we, we getting closer, we getting closer. And that's what gave me the idea to really shut down this truck, make it so, you know, they cannot get the registration because I am the registered owner. And if I put a stop on the registration, there's no way that someone else can unlock that registration. So that's what we're gonna do. So today's a walking day at DMV and it is packed. Dang, I'm gonna be here for some hours. So guys, that was a bit of a fail. Uh, they said that basically the insurance lapsed since May of 2023 and I should have come in before then, reported it stolen and uh, then they'd be able to put it in the system. But right now, all they could do is do a um, a suspension on the plates because the car has technically been registered, but when the insurance lapses in the state of Nevada, you have to get the SR-22 and you have to uh, pay like, I don't know, like a $1,200 fine. In my case, 1200 I don't know how much it'd be if it were a day or two or whatever the case may be. I don't know. But in my case, it's about $1,200. So uh, for them to re-register this truck, they'd have to get an SR-22, have to have my license. And uh, uh, it's a bunch of red tape they got to go through in order to get the new registration. So um, it's bad news, but it's not bad news because I'm the only one who can fix this. They can't, they have the truck, but they can't fix it without me. So that's that, this was a short update and I will get back to you guys on uh, everything else that's going on. I'm gonna get this truck back though. It's go I'm, I'm going to get this truck back. Just hang in there, hang in there with me and uh, stay tuned, watch what I tell you. I'm gonna get this truck back. So guys, we pre-Super Bowl, and as you can see, it's raining like crazy out here. So I'm gonna just, uh, first day back after the weekend, I'm gonna check on the 850. And uh, yeah, got the doors closed. So no water should be getting in here. And okay, all right. It's not doing much, but I mean, it's better than direct water falling on the uh, headlights because they're all open, as I showed you guys. Uh, okay, but uh, again, rags on the headlights is better than nothing, and we got the doors closed, and we cannot get the doors open. So, I don't even know what we're gonna do, how to get the doors open. If you know how to get these doors open without the battery connected, hit me down in the comments. Please let me know. So we're back at Noi for Toys. Let's see what's going on up in here. Jumba! What's cracking? Oh, y'all got a lot done. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? What's good with you? Woo! You sure did get a lot done. Man. Hope somebody taking a nap. Let's be quiet. <laughs> Yo. Oh man, y'all hit me down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Yeah, I saw it last one, uh, last time we was here. Look at this. Oh wait. Y'all ready for the uh, for the party bus? Man, this is what they do. This is what they do. Yeah, so this wall is going to get wrapped today. Uh, radio. Radio? Oh, yeah. Y'all doing the radio too? Okay. And what else? On the trim around it, uh, these have to be wrapped. Uh, 
Huh? And you're going to have all this done by today. What is this, a bar? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So y'all going to have a bartender on here and everything. Serving drinks and everything, the cup holders. Love it when you cuss cuss.